and gentlemen, welcome to the Pop Art Hunter channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a few books from J. Scott Campbell. Now these are his Rough Stuff, Volumes 1 through 4, uh, as well as Lineology. And um, the reason I'm doing these together, um, I'm going to be doing a few different series on some of the books I have from, from J. Scott Campbell, but these are the, the rough behind the scenes, not perfect sketches and uh, those types of things that shows you kind of the creative process behind uh, his creation of a particular character, figure, or composition. And so um, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so uh, four different volumes of the rough stuff, which, uh, rough stuff, which are spiral bound, which I think is kind of neat, kind of in this notebook style, uh, sign, uh, by J. Scott Campbell and other videos I mentioned, I don't, I don't know that that means a lot to me anymore since so much of the stuff that I have uh, is signed by him. Uh, this one is like, I think, I think that's the signature. Yeah, it might, it might, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna see some of the bleed through there. Uh, so yeah, I mean, cause he signs a lot of that, this, I think for resale value that might be of some importance, but who knows. So we're gonna go ahead and look uh, through these. Uh, well, We'll start with Lineology. So this one is uh, not as uh, as cool as these, I don't think. It gives some, some line versions uh, without the color. Uh, you know, like these, uh, the, the color was all done by Nia Rufino. Uh, she went through and did, um, I, I believe, all the color work on uh, the fairy tale fantasies. Other people might have done his other work. But um, when you look at, these with just the lines, I feel as though they're not as vibrant and impressive. Like once you get that color in there, it's great. But again, without J. Scott Campbell's individual work on these and, and making that initial creation, there's nothing to color in. Um, but you know, there, there's just, there's something about once it's colored, it uh, brings it to, to life in a different way. But it, again, this is a little bit of a, a peek behind the curtain to see what it looks like before those colors are, are added. Uh, yeah, I have a, a lot of these. These are part of the Fairy Tale Fantasy series. Uh, he, he had some holiday um, specials uh, that came out. So over the holiday season, he would release a, a print out around the holiday time. Mm, this is a steampunk one. I don't know what that was part of. It was probably a comic book cover, but I've seen print of it as well. Yeah, and, and again, here it's more like the final versions, but when we get into the rough stuff, I, the, those are cool because it kind of takes through a bunch of different stages that you can see um, the art sort of, sort of progressing. But these are mainly just the black and white, almost complete versions or the complete versions of it. Yeah, so that's that. But let's take a look at the, uh, at the sketchbook. So we're not going to flip that every... Uh, page of these, but you'll see a little bit more, um, you know, some of the, some of the artwork style and direction here. So let me get one that has a couple of versions. So like, this is an example. You can see, you know, the different kind of poses and, and, you know, just the adding the shape, uh, you can see him doing some, you know, proportion lines here and stuff like that, just trying to build up these characters. Um, and really, uh, just uh, just saying what they're going to look like, how that going to be shaped, what that, how they're going to be, and like so, like this one's an example, the blue fairy one. That's a very very uh, rough sketch, and then I molded into something more like this, and then he would do the the final inked line version of it. But even this one's even more rough still. I thought, well, look, at, uh, ju just some scribbles about where the shapes of that uh, figures might actually go, and so uh, to progress from this to this to this. To that final print, it's just it's just pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I, I really I really like the way that you can see here the different sketches uh, and how that progresses. I've never seen I've never seen the, uh, that piece with Freddie Ash and Jason. I'm not I'm sure if that was something that, that was released. I'm assuming it was because Freddie here looks pretty um, complete there. So I'm gonna have to look. At, Look that up. I've never seen that before. Well, I mean, I flip, I flip through these when I first got them briefly, but you know, I don't look at every single page of every single book in every single context. And the True Blood, I believe. That's book number one. Book number two. Now, that's one thing 
I kind of wish they would have stayed consistent with either a left to right notebook instead of the top to bottom or top to bottom. But you get some horizontal, you get some uh, vertical, so just depends. These are kind of neat because you get more of a full figure um, as you're flipping that through here. But it kind of does break it up a little bit. But it does make it a little bigger so you can you can see some of the the detail a little bit more. And this one was sinful. It's like a Garden of Eden poster. I don't this Okay, I I might be wrong. Isn't that Howard Stern? <laughs> and maybe Robin, his his co-host? Might have been something that I've done for them. It looks like, like Howard Stern. Uh, I get uh, Stan Lee and some of that stuff. It's more fair to say. I've never seen it on that piece either. With Maleficent. It's kind of a unique Maleficent. <laughs> It's interesting that I've, I've not seen some of these in a, in a poster format. Now, this one, I believe, is part of um, the the calendar covers. They have a few different figures that are on the cover kind of advertising it, but weren't actually full-fledged prints. Moving on, number three. Wow. He really signed out of the cover on that one. <laughs> he, he went way overboard with signatures. I don't remember Oh yeah, that's Alice in Wonderland. I don't remember now. That okay. Well, uh, Mermaid Lagoon. Well, with this one again, like you see the progression of what appears to be just scribbles, but with some shape and form, and then to getting more specific, and then on, onto the the final piece before it's inked. That's just it's just an, it's a, an incredible process. You, I mean, and I'm not. I'm not saying that uh, J. Scott Campbell or anybody who does this artwork is not talented. But when you see that line sketch, like when you look at one of these line pieces of artwork, like literally, I was saying, "Oh, it's cool," but I mean, where's the color? Where's the pop? Where you know, and stuff like that. And because this looks so simple, as far as like, it's just lines. But then when you see the context of what, what what it takes to get from here, like from just a couple of scribbles of shape to this, you appreciate just the line drawings more, I think. Um, and you give it a little bit more credit, you know. And again, I think those line drawings are amazing, but I'm always like, oh, well, I had to choose between the color or the, or the line drawing. I'm always going to take the color because they just look better. Um, but you can really see how the work that goes into uh, making that line drawing. It's much more complex than, than meets the eye. Definitely. Yeah, we're skipping some pages here, just looking around at some. Uh, yeah, I want you to to buy the uh, the books as well. You can't just look, uh, look at my version of the books. You have to go ahead and buy your own so you can... Uh, oh, that's how the cover of Red. And actually, I happen to have that one right Right here. So this is what I mean about the color versus the sketch version. I mean, this just, it's, it's so vibrant and pretty. And this is, is cool, but it just, you don't, you, you don't get the, the same effect as when you, when you look at this piece. But when you see that this started out as, as this figure, it's just, it's pretty incredible. It's just really, it's really neat. You wonder how many of these never made it, or didn't make it in the, in the same fashion, or completely 180 change. Yeah, these sketchbooks are really cool. I, like uh, of all the books in my collection from J. Scott Campbell, I, I'm most impressed by these because I have a lot of prints of the final art. I have a lot of that stuff. I don't have a lot of this stuff because he only made a certain number of rough prints, and you know to get the sketches. The original sketches or concept art is going to be one almost impossible to find. If you find them, they're going to be really expensive, you know, etc. Um, but yeah, these are 
just, I'm really glad to have these in the collection. Again, I feel like these are just a little bit of a peek behind the curtain. You don't get to see, you know, the sculptor who who sculpts something and messes something up and then has to put more clay back or has to take something off or restart. You don't see that process. You see the final sculpture. You don't see the artist, the painting where, you know, they've messed something up or they've, you know, they've, they need to draw over it. They paint it over something completely and then, you know, put more and more and more layers on top until they get it right. You see the final product. And so for me, I feel like these are a little bit more of that look behind to see what was the mistakes that he made? What was he thinking initially? What was it starting like and what did it evolve to? And so uh, I think these are really cool books and it showcases that creative process of an artist. It's also another piece uh, or a few pieces of uh, materials to put in my J. Scott Campbell collection. I have a lot of the uh, a lot of prints. I also have a few of the statues. And so uh, this is just one more thing to have included. So if you like J. Scott Campbell, uh, you like art, you like drawing, this is even a great uh, piece for artists to see that creative process from somebody who is successful and very professional to see how they kind of, the genesis of those pieces. So anyway, I think it's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, make sure you watch all the other videos. There'll be more books to come from J. Scott Campbell, and we will see you next time right here on the Pop Art Hunter channel.